follow up to a story we first brought you back in June about a Pueblo school that's gone without a playground for more than a year. Well, today the kids got one. Great news. News Science reporter Laura Wilson watching out for you in Pueblo tonight with that story. Laura? Oh, and it was such a great community effort to make this all happen. Plus, the lessons learned for students extend far beyond recess. <laughs> the wait is finally over. Oh my gosh. Minaqua Elementary kindergartners were the first to test out their brand new playground after having to go more than a year without one. I felt so happy. Safety issues forced the school to rip out the old playground. It definitely was kind of pulled at our heartstrings when we had to remove the playground because we knew it was going to take some work to get the funds raised. But when school started last fall, fundraising efforts, including students trying to sell chocolate bars, came up short. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer. But after a News 5 story on the playground predicament, groups like El Pamar and Kaiser Permanente kicked in with some big donations. I want to say thank you for the playground and everything, and I appreciate it. Do it, do it, you could do it, I know you could. For students who worked hard to make it happen, it's more than a playground. I sold candy bars because I really wanted to play on the playground and I wanted all of my classmates to be able to play. Makes me feel like a better person and know that I helped do that. What's the best part on the playground? Everything. And before I could take his microphone off, Dominic was determined to show me exactly what he meant. Every single part of this is my favorite part. With the possibilities of recess activities now sky high, this special day was worth the wait for these very patient students. And teachers tell me even though El Pamar and Kaiser Permanente wrote those two big checks, they also had a lot of support from other local businesses and families as well as some grant money and want to say thank you to everyone who got involved. Watching out for you in Pueblo, Laura Wilson, News 5.